Hi, this is Daniel, and um, this is a short introduction of the new 1.7 features of the PEC file manager. So uh, let's start it up. And the first thing is a online update for the table definitions. Um, it'll look up on TWC whether there's new files available. Right now um, I'm up to date. And you can also select update on startup to have uh, it check every time it runs up whether there's something new available here. Uh, the next function that I've added, let's say you've created a mod from an earlier version, from say patch 6, and um, the, what the pack file manager will show you if there are table definitions um, that are more recent than the ones you've used, um, like here, there's uh, usually there's table columns being added there, so um, you can go to choose pack actions, update DB files, and update the current, and that will add the new table columns here. Let's do the same thing for avatar ranks here, and a new column has been added. Um, you'll have to save it later on, and uh, well, it'll just be giving default values. But um, yeah, you'll have to put in reasonable ones. You can also do the same for all tables that have been modified here. But um, some of the um, buildings tables still give me problems that won't crash the function. But um, yeah, those things can't be updated by this system, but most of the other will be. Okay, now let's switch to a more recent patch file. This is patch 10, um, which is the current one right now. And let's go to unit stats land table. Um, another function that I've added, um, let's say you have identified a column, for example, this one to be the dismounted charge column. You can right click the column header and change column description and just enter whatever you found out this will be, dismounted charge. Then this will remind you that you'll have to save your changes that you made to the table definition. And um, this is right here, save to directory, which will create a user directory and this will override all of the updates that you will receive from um, TWC automatically. So um, this is so that your changes won't get overridden and you should upload them to TWC. This is how it looks on the file system. It'll create um, this directory and if you zip those files and upload them, then um, yeah, we can all um, learn from what you have changed here. Uh, the other options that you have here is that you can um, select which columns you want to view. Let's say this unknown column, you don't want to see this. You can select hide column and um, then it's gone. This one is still here, but that's because it's uh, written in, not in capital letters. It's this, uh, case sensitive, um, but yeah, this should be able to like filter out some of the things that you don't want to see, hide column of the number of artillery, and then it's invisible. You can then select show all columns and this will um, unhide them temporarily. You can see the ones that are hidden have an asterisk and you can then show the column again. You can also select to show, um, to show all columns again. This one used to be hidden, it is not anymore. And you can do the very same thing for all tables, but um, yeah, those are all. I don't, I didn't um, hide any tables up to now. The last thing is the combo box cells. I have scavenged some uh, references from between tables. Um, the unit stats land, for example, has uh, these references into some officer table and there are some um, values that are valid for this. 
so if you select the combo boxes then um, you won't be you won't have to uh, enter any string there and hope that it'll be valid but you can select from the valid values um you can uh, this might have some problems still in some cases so um for example if you switch back and have entered an invalid value here um this you can obviously do and you use the combo box cells then it'll give you an exception here and um yeah this is actually quite obnoxious so in this case just switch back to not using them and this will rebuild the whole table and correct and here we go okay i hope uh, some of those features are useful to you and um, if they are let me know i'm waiting for your feedback and have fun modding bye